Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Oracle Unbreakable Linux Network or the ULN. This tutorial is the first of a series of three videos. The first tutorial will demonstrate registering a system with ULN. A second tutorial will demonstrate using the ULN web interface. And the third tutorial will demonstrate use of the YUM utility to install the available updates from ULN. For this tutorial I'll be using a virtual machine in Oracle VM VirtualBox. I have Oracle Linux 7 installed, as you can see. I'm logged in as the root user. And the network also must be configured to access ULN. So you can see I have one network interface card. It has an IP address assigned to it and it is up. I'm going to first register my machine with ULN and the command to do so is ULN underscore register. The following window appears system registration set up software updates. This assistant will guide you through connecting your system to ULN for software updates. You can click on this why should I connect the ULN. This is just an information box. It gives you some some of the reasons why you might want to con connect to ULN. Connecting to your system to ULN allows you to take full advantage of the benefits of a paid subscription including security and updates and support. So again this is just a information box. So I'll click take me back to the registration. I'm going to click forward now it's going to ask me for my account information, my Oracle single sign-on login, and a password, and my CSI. So I'm going to provide this information. Advanced networking configuration, just if you need to use a, a proxy, an HTTP proxy, connect to ULN, you can configure that here. For this example, I don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and click forward. And then it asks me to create a profile. It wants me to choose a system name and indicate whether I want to send my hardware profile information and my package profile information. So I'm going to give it a name, a system name. And this does not change the host name, by the way. This is just a name that's used for ULN. I'll just call this ULN dash video dash demo and you do want to ensure that you have these two checkboxes checked they are checked by default in order that this information can, can get sent to ULN there's some box there's some buttons here that you can click to view what exactly is what exactly is going to be sent so this is the hardware profile information what what version of the operating system you're running what's your IP address CPU information memory and package information, these are all the software packages that are currently installed on the system. So in this example, I selected to install the server with the GUI base environment packages, and that was all. So once you've given a system name, a unique system name, make sure these boxes are checked. Click forward, and it's going to send the information. This takes a few seconds. After the information has been sent to UON, the next screen to appear is to configure rebootless updates. And this is Case Splice. And Case Splice is going to be covered in another video tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'm going to uncheck that and not subscribe to the Case Splice channel. So I'll click forward and I get a chance to review my dis subscription. It does say the YUM RHN plugin has been enabled and it's automatically registered my system and, and, I, and subscribed me to two channels the Unbreakable Enterprise Kernel Release 3 for Oracle 7 and the architecture is x86 underscore 64 and then the Oracle Linux 7 latest x86 64. So I've 
these channels you'll be automatically subscribed to whatever for whatever version of the operating system you're running and for for whatever architecture your system has now through the web interface you can subscribe to additional channels and unsubscribe from channels but these channels are you're automatically subscribed to these channels when you register your system so I'll click forward and updates are configured software update setup has has been completed for the system your system is now ready to receive software updates if you're running GNOME or the GNOME desktop you will see this star will appear in the notification area when there are updates available and you can update through the package manager running on that's accessible through GNOME but you can also update using yum from a command line so I'll click finish and I'm back to my command prompt so my system has been registered this concludes this video demo proceed to the second video tutorial in the series which demonstrates the ULN web interface